I'm going to show you how to create uh, layers and do a little bit of grouping in Adobe Illustrator. So let's go ahead and start with a blank new document. So first thing we want to bring up this layers uh, window. If you don't have that open, just go to window and choose uh, layers. You may also have it over in your little sub icons, whatever these things are called. You can click, hold, and drag and put those in there and it might show up that way too. But I like to have mine kind of out and just handy. So with layers, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, rename it or put some simple objects in there. So I'll just go ahead and put a bunch of blue circles. So I've got my ellipse tool, but you can put anything on there. Uh, and where'd my layers go? So on my layers there, um, it'll show those as a layer. I can rename this layer I can also uh, turn this into a template if I wanted to, a lock. I could change the outline color on there. So you can do all kinds of different things. Click OK. Um, depending on how many shapes or objects you have uh, on there, if you click on this little pull down menu, it gives you what's called a path. So everything that you draw is uh, creating this path on there. If I were to come in here and grab the line tool, and maybe draw another line that would show up in that path too. So that will allow you to uh, kind of see what's going on. Sometimes you may not want to see that much information, just close that right back up. Uh, locking up layers, you can lock up just the whole entire layer or unlock individual paths, which can um, help you out. You can also hide individual pieces, uh, rearrange those objects into the order you want. Uh, you can also group objects, so maybe if I want to select all these three and uh, come in here and just select all those pieces. So I have, and it shows uh, which ones I'm selecting, so it looks like I got um, all those different pieces selected. And then you can group those by either pressing Command G or going down to Group. And what that does, that allows you to click off move those around a little bit uh, easier, especially when you're designing some intricate uh, piece. If for some reason you want to get rid of that grouping, you can always add onto grouping or select those objects and ungroup or use the hotkey there. And those will now become uh, separate again. So grouping and ungrouping uh, can help you out. And you'll notice when I do that, it'll create this group category, all these little sub layers. Uh, as far as other layers, you can also click on this icon to add a new layer. So I could come into this um, layer and have a separate one. Oh, and I changed all those to red. That's okay. Um, but if you want, if you don't want to manipulate that, you can lock it up. Click on the new layer, and then draw whatever color you want. Uh, on there. So, but layers kind of help you keep things organized. Um, whatever layer is showing on top, that's what will show first. So if I were to take this layer now and click, hold, and drag that below, now they're behind, or I could click, hold, and drag, and bring that up. Uh, you can also merge layers into each other. So if I take this and just kind of went right in there where it gets a little triangle, that will merge them, and now that's a part of that layer within inside that object. So layers, they can get a bit confusing, but if you just kind of remember that whatever's on top will show first. So if you want to move things around or rearrange, uh, you need to rearrange them according to their hierarchy and what size they are.